Hi everyone, I wanted to show you my finished pouch. I am so excited that I got it done and I love how it turned out. This will be another short video and I have to apologize for the lighting on the last one. The mode on my lamp thing got switched and I didn't realize it was so dark. Okay, so here it's finished except for I'm just not sure on the bow. I don't know if I'm going to trim that off or leave it long. I haven't decided that yet. But um, for my closure I have a little button under the ruffle here. This was not planned. I um, This piece of crocheted trim has bigger holes toward the top and I thought, oh, I might be able to just put a button on there and it does. And the ruffle almost covers it. I may even be able to get by with a smaller button, but that ruffle mostly covers it. So that's the closure. And I wasn't sure what I was going to do in the middle, or the inside, if I was going to leave the um, vintage quilt showing or not. And I did decide to do that, but I added just a little decoration underneath there. So it's got just a little cluster thingy here. Because I did like the look of the vintage fabric and the stitching and all that. So. I just did straight stitching around here, some more X's in the pink embroidery floss to bring in some of the same things I did on the front and back. And then I just stitched up the edge. I wanted the raw edges left, so I um, just did a straight stitch again down each side. And it is finished. I didn't put um, like the double pocket inside like Roxy did. I just left it plain. I wasn't sure what I was going to use it for, but I've got some special mail that I received, cards and stuff, and I think I will use it to put those in and put this in my craft room, just on display for me to be able to look at. So yeah, so there is my finished project, and I love it. I'm anxious for her to show us tomorrow what the next one is. So that's the front. There's the back. It's so pretty. I know pink is not everyone's color, but I love pink. So, so there it is. Now I need to go and start looking at other people's projects because I want to see how everybody else has turned out. But I wanted to work on mine and get it done first before I took the time to look at others. Thank you so much for watching. You have a good evening or morning, depending on when you see this. And if you like it, please put a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.